Welcome back to the town of Wupperburg, where the people have learned a whole lot about how to take care of God's money. They're giving and trusting and spending wisely so they can give some more. Meanwhile, Sheriff Rusty Trusty is more determined than ever to find the bandits who've been stealing from the good folks of Wupperburg. To top it all off, it's almost Christmas. Will the town be able to raise enough money to build a church like they'd hoped? the sheriff be able to finally bring the scoundrels to justice so the fine citizens of Wupperburg can enjoy their Christmas in peace. Find out in today's episode. Starring Sheriff Rusty Trusty. Preacher Ike Graham, Josie Jones, Miss Rose Honeycutt, with Paul Jones, Wild Bill Hiccup, Butch Tampany and the Square Dance Kid, and some low-down, dirty, rotten scoundrels in a very scoundrel's Christmas. Okay, I'll get the money in the church's account right away. Preacher Graham, I really want to thank you. You've been such a good customer to the bank. Oh, it's been my pleasure. <laughs> and thank you for the great news this afternoon. Oh. Why don't you come by the saloon this afternoon at about 2 o'clock? We're going to have a very special town meeting. I wouldn't miss it. All right, we'll see you then. Okay. Good day, Sheriff. Well, howdy there, preacher. Any news on them bandits? Well, not really, but we'll find them, even if we have to search the whole county. <laughs> I got a couple of jail cells here waiting for them. I know you'll get them. Hey, I got some great news I want to share with the whole town at a special meeting this afternoon. Can you be there? I reckon I can. Oh, that's great. Now, uh, I got to run. I'm going to go door to door to make sure everyone in Whopperburg knows about the meeting. I'll see you later, Sheriff. All right, good day. I wonder what the big fuss is about. Preacher sure seemed to have a lot to say. I reckon I don't know, but I hope it's good news. Oh, looks like we're about to find out. Well, first, I want to thank you all for coming out here on such short notice. And I also want to say a special thank you to the people of Whopperburg. Your generosity in learning how to handle God's money the way he would handle it, even when things start to get tough. Well, it's inspiring. Well, that's all great and all, but what's your big news? Well, the big news is, we did it. We raised enough money to start building a new church. Well, this next Christmas, we'll be in a church building all our own. Oh! Well, I'll be, even with those scoundrels running around town stealing everything, God still came through. Yeah, well, he sure did. And I say, let's have a special Christmas Eve get together, uh, a night that no one in Whopperburg will ever forget. I can help decorate. Oh, I'll bring some of Ma's pies. <gasps> oh, and peppermint sticks. Well, I think it's beginning to feel more like Christmas already. Well, I mean, after all, God gave us everything when he sent his son Jesus. And what better way to remember that than to, to get everybody together and and celebrate how generous God has been to all of us here in Whopperburg. Well, land sakes, news travels fast. Looks like we did it. The people of Whopperburg gave and God came through and just in time for Christmas. You know, Preacher Graham was right. Christmas is the time for giving and God is the biggest giver of them all. That's because God gave everything when he gave us Jesus on that very first Christmas. Now we're gonna memorize a verse. So I'm gonna say part of the verse, I'm gonna show you some motions, then the second time you're gonna repeat it after me. All right, here's some motions. The verse is John 3:16, And we're gonna say, 
for God, we're going to point up to the sky, love the world. You're going to make that cute like ballerina. You're going to make a little heart on your head. Love the world so much that he gave his one. This is a one, kids, if you didn't know. Okay, so this is a one and only son. You're going to turn that one into a son. One son. <laughs> and you're going to make that son dance around. An only son. So that everyone who believes in him, you don't like this part, will not perish. You're just going to act like you're dead. Will not perish, but have eternal life. Big old smile. Ain't that good news? All right, now we're going to do the verse. You're going to do them with me. John 3, 16. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish. but have eternal life. You guys thought I died there for a second, didn't you? Because I'm so old. Well, that's rude. Okay, well, I'm so glad God gave us Jesus. Ain't you? Now, this Christmas, let's be sure to remember all God's done for us. Well, <laughs> I better go. I got some pies to bake. We're going to have quite a Christmas party. Oh, Sadie, don't like that pie. Oh, nobody saw it. be fine. <laughs> Kids, how you doing? Square dance kid, which tapity, we tell jokes. Howdy. And tap, I have a question for you. What you got, Square? What do you call a deer with no eyes? What you got? I have no idea either. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Now yeah. kids, how do you go around without having cold feet? I don't know, how do you go around without having cold feet? You can't walk around burr-footed. <laughs> get it? Burfoot. It's burfoot because it's cold outside. It's cold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What's gotten into you, Wild Bill? I have something <laughs> to confess. Well, I guess you best start confessing then. Maybe I should just show you. Wait a cotton picking minute. Is this Josie Jones prize pistol? I'm really sorry, Sheriff. <laughs> this looks like them boots taken from the leather goods store. Ma's gooseberry pie? It was you that took her pies? Well, I, I was just gonna... What in tarnation are you doing, Bill? I've been traveling all over this county trying to find the no-good scoundrels and stole all the money from the bank. Turns out it was you all along. Well, it, not exactly. I, I mean, I did some stealing for the bandits. They promised me if I just finished these last little jobs that I, I wouldn't have to work for them anymore. And I could be an honest man. And that's what I want to be, Sheriff. I want to be an honest citizen of Whopperburg. Well, working for bandits isn't the way to do it. Now tell me, where's the money from the bank? Oh, I didn't have anything to do with that. Uh, honest, Sheriff. Cross my heart, spit in my eye. I didn't. The bandits did it all by themselves. I, I just did the small jobs for them. You know, the pistol and the guns and... You know I can never resist Ma's pie. When, when those bandits tasted those pies, they were the best pies they ever tasted. Ma's gooseberry pies. Oh. Ain't nothing quite like it. Wait! Wild Bill, that ain't right. Now you may not have robbed a bank, but you've been robbing people. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lock you up. Now wait, wait! I, I wanna fly straight, Sheriff. I, I do! So what if I helped you instead? What if I told you where the bandit's hiding hole is? Well, I reckon if you know where they're hiding, you best tell me right now. And who knows? 
maybe the law will go a little easier on you. All righty then, I'll tell you. Those bandits are hiding right here in Whopperburg. Yeah, in the Lucky Duck Mine. Well, I reckon I best go find me some scoundrels. Know where you are, bandits. Come on out here. Well, if it ain't the famous sheriff, Rusty Trusty. Guess you finally found us. Too bad we're gonna have to shoot you. You come out here and face me fair and square. Like a gentleman. No, I don't think so. You've probably set a trap. You trying to ambush a sheriff? Three of you and one of me. Now you come on out here and face me this minute, you hear me? Nope, sorry, sheriff. Ain't gonna do it. All right then. How about this? At high noon, you meet me in the town square. We're gonna have a show off. A duel. Me against you three dirty, rotten scoundrels. And we'll settle this once and for all. We have a deal? Okay, you have a deal. But you face us alone. No funny business either. No funny business. Square dance, Butch Tappity. Got another joke here for you. What, what is the best thing to put in Christmas pie? Uh, your teeth. I <laughs> get it. Eating it. I don't, but I'm gonna laugh like I do. <laughs> okay, I got one for you. All right. All right, you ready, Riz? Yep. What did Adam say to his wife the day before Christmas? I have no clue. What you got? It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Woo! It had a punchline. Definitely had punchline. God be with you, Sheriff. Look out, Sheriff! Here they come! Chance, Sheriff. There's only one of you, three of us. Yep, yeah, there's no way you're gonna win this one. You might as well surrender. What's that? Y'all wanna surrender? No! no! You're gonna surrender! Oh, I ain't gonna surrender. Not now, not ever. But there's three of us, and only one of you. Well, I reckon I'm just gonna have to be quicker on the draw then. <laughs> Suit yourself! Attention, everybody! It's time to say goodbye to your famous sheriff, Rusty Trusty. Whoa! What just happened? How did you do that? Well, I don't know. I give up. We surrender! Stop your shoes! Stop! The sheriff just shot all three of those bandits' guns right oh. out of their hands. How did he shoot so fast? Oh, now, Miss Rose, now you probably didn't know this, but our good sheriff, Rusty Trusty, he's the fastest shot in the West. <laughs> well, they don't call him the sure shooting sheriff for nothing. Now, if y'all come with me, I got a real nice room waiting for you. Oh, Sheriff, I don't know what I'd do if anything ever happened to you. Well, 
Oh, I'm just fine. Don't you have a Christmas party you need to be getting ready for? Oh, wait. That reminds me. Here's that gift you were asking for. A Christmas present? For me? Yep. Oh, I always knew you were sweet on me. What is it? A bar of soap? Why'd you get me a bar of soap? Well, it's just that you're so smelly. Smelly? Oh, who you calling smelly? Well, I, I mean, you smell nice too. God has been good to the people of Whopperburg. And it began a long time ago on a starry night in the town of Bethlehem where a young woman gave birth to a tiny baby and changed everything. And that is the story of how the people of Whopperburg came together to do great things. They obeyed God with their tithe. They learned to love God back through their giving. They learned to spend God's money the way He would. But most of all, they learned that God is the biggest giver of all. The sheriff had apprehended the scoundrels and the town was safe from their wild ways. All in all, Everyone agreed this turned out to be their best Christmas ever. And now, before we bid you a Wild West yeehaw and farewell, the fine folks of Upperburg would like to wish each of you a, a very scoundrel's Christmas. Christmas.